iPhones are great gadgets on their own, but the real magic that keeps people hooked into Apple is the software. There's no chat app that compares to iMessage in terms of simplicity. No downloads, no additional steps to set the app as a default chat service, and no accounts. No wonder people live and die by the blue bubble. If you're hooked on iMessage, you might not even realize how much space the app is taking up on your device. Attachments in iMessage range from photos and videos to full documents, like PDFs or Word docs. All of that data stays in your phone until you clear it out, and if you've never deleted some of your message threads, that means there's a ton of untouched space sitting filled on your phone. Here's the good news. Clearing out attachments in iMessage is pretty easy, especially if you're willing to remove as much data as possible without backing anything up. If you're ready to delete your attachments in iMessage, you've come to the right guide. First up, make sure anything you want saved on your phone is backed up. While you can't view file attachments, photos and videos can be displayed in one simple display. Just tap on a conversation thread with an iMessage and tap on your contact name at the top of the display, then tap Info. Under the Photos menu, you can find shared photos and videos between you and everyone in that chat thread. Save the images you want to keep, and your content will stay backed up. Okay, with your photos saved, it's time to head into Settings to clear your attachments. Select General, followed by iPhone Storage. Scroll through this menu to look for Messages. If it's been a while since you cleared out your iMessage attachments, you'll likely see a Recommendations menu appear, asking you to review large attachments. Tap this menu to view a checklist of days with large data usage, sorted by data size. Just tap the edit icon, then check the box next to each individual day. This isn't exactly a one-click option, but even with large amounts of listings, it shouldn't take more than a few minutes to check each box. When you're done, just tap the trash icon. If you liked this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering iOS and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.